Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. This is my second lecture on membrane potentials in nerve fiber and I am going to discuss the graded potentials or the electrotonic potentials in this video. First of all, we will discuss the ion channels in dendritic spines that is in membrane of dendrites. These are basically of two types. First is mechanical gated ion channels and second one is ligand gated ion channels. Stimuli like touch, pressure, etc. These will stimulate the mechanical gated ion channels while the neurotransmitters will stimulate the ligand gated ion channels. When the ion channels in dendritic spines are stimulated, these result in movement of certain ions across the membrane. This movement result either in depolarization or hyperpolarization. Now what are these depolarization and hyperpolarization? This is RMP, any movement of cation or anion which results in the rising of membrane potential above minus 70 millivolts will result in depolarization and any movement which will result in lowering of RMP below minus 70 millivolt will result in hyperpolarization. There is another term, firing potential or threshold potential. Firing potential or threshold potential is minus 55 millivolts. So if the membrane potential RMP rises to minus 55 then action potential will be initiated otherwise it will not initiate. So this is the receptive part it is having two types of ion channels it will be stimulated either by touch pressure like that if it is the sensory neuron and if it is not the sensory neuron then it will be stimulated by certain ligands like neurotransmitters. Finally what will happen that is uh, some ionic movement will be there which will result in depolarization or hyperpolarization. If depolarization is greater than or equal to 15 millivolts that is plus 15 millivolts action potential will be initiated and if it is less than plus 15 millivolts or it is hyperpolarization then in both cases no action potential will be there. So this is the local potential which is known as graded potential. Now how will we define the graded potential? It is a non-propagated local potential of a small magnitude that is produced by a depolarizing 
और हाइपर पोलराइजिंग स्टिमुलर सो दिस इज द ग्रेडेड पोटेंशियल नाउ सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट द ग्रेडेड पोटेंशियल इफ वी इस इंक्रीज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ स्टिमुलाइ मोर नंबर ऑफ न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स विल एंटर देन मोर नंबर ऑफ आयन चैनल्स विल बी इन्वॉल्व मोर विल बी द मूवमेंट ऑफ आयन अक्रॉस द मेम्ब्रेन एंड हायर विल बी द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ डी पोलराइजेशन और हाइपर पोलराइजेशन सो सिंपली वी कैन से दैट मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ मेम्ब्रेन पोटेंशियल rather graded potential is directly proportional to the strength of stimuli another important point if we measure the graded potential away from stimuli that is some distance away from stimuli it is lower in magnitude and if it is near to stimuli then it is higher in magnitude and if we measure the graded potential at the same place but after some time then lesser will be the magnitude it simply means that graded potential uh, graded potential decreases with time and distance decreases with time and distance this is known as decremental conduction one another point if we give another stimuli then before uh, the graded potential is ending if we give another stimuli before ending of graded potential then magnitude will be increased because if one stimuli is given it will open up some of the ion channels then another stimuli is given before ending that stimuli or before ending of uh, the graded potential then more and more number of ion channels will be involved resulting in greater magnitude so this is uh, these are some features of the graded potential now the types of graded potential graded potential can be observed when this neuron is basically sensory neuron and is uh, it is directly receiving some stimuli then it is known as receptor potential so receptor potential is a type of graded potential another thing if it is second neuron or third neuron or motor neuron then this neuron will be in contact of another neuron and it will be part of post synaptic it will be a post synaptic neuron then it will be receiving the neurotransmitters so it is termed as synaptic potential 
in this case it will be synaptic potential if this neuron is ending at some uh, muscle then it is termed as end plate potential potential generated at neuromuscular junction is end plate potential and if the pacemaker cells are taken then pacemaker potential pacemaker potential can be observed in case of cardiac cells and some intestinal cells or blood cells so these are the various types of potentials graded potentials now we can easily observe some uh, these features by a graph this is rmp this is firing potential if its strength is small graded potential is small because it is depolarizing we are giving depolarization stimuli of lesser strength graded potential of smaller magnitude will be there depolarizing stimuli of greater strength graded potential will be greater depolarizing stimuli of threshold or supra threshold strength then higher magnitude will be observed along with initiation of action potential depolarizing stimuli for longer duration but of sub threshold value then graded potential will be prolonged in the same way if we give hyperpolarizing stimuli of lesser strength then this type of graded potential can be observed more hyperpolarizing stimuli then more magnitude but on reverse side but these hyperpolarizing stimuli will never initiate an action potential so this is the graded potential in the next video we will discuss the action potential hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications